Um, so my official visit was the football game where Northwestern beat Michigan in, I think it might've been overtime. Anyway, it was this insane, crazy experience um, that, you know, a girl from Long Island had never seen before. Football isn't the biggest thing. Lax is the biggest thing on Long Island. So um, it was just such a fun community oriented place beautiful and then of course the academics speak for themselves um female athletes i think uh really should um utilize their athletic skills to get into like better educational institutions and i think that northwestern does a really good job of leveraging both they have great athletic programs and then you get a great education too so um it was an incredible experience life-changing so i was a member of the first class of the second era um, so the class that graduated in 2005, and we had the opportunity to build something the way we wanted it built, the way our coach wanted it built from the ground up. Um, and so um, outside of that, just as an incredible experience going from a brand new team to national champions in four years, um, the bonds that it's created for since then during that time um, have been unbreakable. And for instance, last night I was on a, a Zoom call with seven of my old teammates um, catching up and it's been, you know, they've been there through everything, national champions, weddings, babies, everything. Hard work is essential to success um, and she's the hardest working coach. She, um, you know, develops plays, practices, then goes home and watches film for hours and you know, Scotty's completely on board. So it's like a family affair and it's just a never ending cycle of work. But also, you know, the passion that she brings to that work is incredible. And it's almost like it's not work for her. It's just what she's here to do. I would say some quintessential Kelly moments. Number one um, is that she essentially recruited us telling us that we were gonna win a national championship when the team didn't even exist yet. Um, that's quintessential Kelly, super competitive, super um, confident and understanding her own abilities, I think is one of the things that she also brings to the table as like just a powerhouse lady. Being okay in that space and saying, I'm good at this is not something you see very often. So um, really just words of encouragement, you know, I, I think sometimes you need someone to tell you that you can do this. And my teammates have been instrumental in saying, you are totally made to do this job. Like you're going to crush this. Um, and me kind of just being like, yeah, you know what? You're right. We are going to crush this. I got this. Um, but then, um, you know, in really tangible ways, they've been incredibly generous. So I can give you a few examples. Um, my teammate um, and best friend who was actually, you know, in my wedding this past fall, her and her husband made us face shields off of a 3D printer that they have in their home and sent 25 of them to my house and my husband put them together and I got to give them to my staff. Um, Kendall uh, Santuli Maloney set up an entire food train for food delivery for my staff um, and where we sit you know we sit in an underserved community and that the community itself isn't as capable to donate food like you see on tv as much where people are swarming the hospitals they're really impacted in more ways than just you know the being ill it's you know the financial impact of this virus is, has been really devastating mm -hmm. so to get that support um and be able to you know get fun meals and and take pictures and i've been really trying to um honor that spirit and Instagram. So uh, anytime they send something, it's up there. And the amount that's from Wildcats is incredible. Time management. So we talked a lot about, um, you know, how demanding it is to play in that program and, you know, how demanding Northwestern is a school in general. Um, and the, that skill set never leaves you. Um, Specifically lacrosse though, I think it's just the ability to do the work. Um, you know, while 
I might not be successful at beating this thing today or tomorrow. Um, it's taught me the lesson that if I keep giving my best, that, you know, one day it's going to be better. And it might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. It might not be 30 days from now. But at some point, if I keep bringing all of my energy and keeping it positive, things will change. So I think the obvious best memory is winning a championship. I can't even begin to describe what that feels like. Um, and then to do it with your best friends is just the icing on the cake. Um, but there's been plenty of things that aren't lacrosse related that have been incredible. Um, we've been to weddings literally all over the world. Um, getting to meet all my little babies. Uh, you know, I have a lot of fake nieces and nephews uh, that have entered this world. Um, and, and really going through the ups and downs of life. I mean, there's so much on how sports is just a metaphor for life. And, you know, being, being there and being a teammate to someone doesn't stop just because the game is over. We still give each other that same level of support that we did I don't even want to say how many years ago, but a long time ago. God, this is so hard because I feel like that was the first, once that decision is made, our class kind of just texted with each other and talked about that impact and how that would have been so devastating for us. So I think it's okay to acknowledge the fact that it is in fact devastating and like feel the feelings, but also know that four years does not a team experience make like it's been 20 years almost since i i met my best friends and they're still the best people i know and no one can take that away from you so my psa is essentially stay home please um we do a much better job caring for the patients when we have the ability and aren't overwhelmed by the sheer number of patients that we have. Um, so that's the first thing. Stay home, practice good hand hygiene, spoken like a true nurse, like that's super important. But also practice gratitude because I think it's important to recognize that this is a sacrifice for everyone but assuredly there's someone somewhere going through something much worse than what you're going through. And having the perspective of seeing people lose loved ones without anyone by their side, um, seeing large numbers of people pass away when we're normally able to save them, there's always something to be grateful for and it's important to, to recognize that and practice it. <laughs>